Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today at Go Parallel, I would like to show you a few things about the new beta of the new 2015 edition of Parallel Studio. Now, they keep releasing updates to this beta, so some of the features are likely to change a little bit. But when you open it up, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is upgrade an existing project. Now, I have here an application I created with the previous version. It's 2013 edition, uh, which uses the Intel C++ 14.0 compiler. With the 2015 edition comes the 15th version of the compiler, and we want to upgrade this project. There's two ways you can do it. You can click on the project here, and if I do that, the menu will go down beyond where my screen capture is going. So instead, I'm going to do it up here project and then Intel Composer. Now, we can convert it to the 15.0, but once we do that, we cannot convert it back to 14.0. So if you think you might need 14.0 saved, I suggest do, do a full backup of your directory. So we're going to click the Use Intel C++. And I'll move this up a little bit. And it's going to configure it to use C++ Compiler 15.0. Click OK and now it has been updated to 15.0 and now we can't go back if i do project intel composer my only option is use visual c plus plus if i do that it'll switch it to C, uh, microsoft visual c plus plus and then my only option will be to switch it back to intel version 15.0 so let's look at what we've got here i've got a loop here and one of the things that's nice about the, the new compiler is the reporting is greatly enhanced. The, if you've watched my videos in the past as well as read my blogs, you'll know that many times I've been demonstrating how to find out if your loops have, have been vectorized. And what you get is a, a simple message that states loop has been vectorized or loop has not been vectorized. And further, sometimes it's not real clear exactly where those loops are. You've got to look at the source code, and sometimes you end up uh, seeing vectorization messages for your header files, for instance, up here in IO Stream and whatnot. So with the new reports, they're a lot more concise, and you can specify where you want to see reporting and where you don't. I'm just going to do a quick report here, just so you can see the general look of it. We're going to open up the project, and then Properties. And we're going to go down here to uh, expand the C, C++, and down inside the Diagnostics Intel C++ is where you find the new reporting. And that's in the same location it was before, but now you have a lot more options here. And I won't be able to show you all of these options in this short little video, but I can point you in this direction so that you can play with them too. Uh, here we've got Vectorized Diagnostic Level. And that's similar to what you had before. Uh, you can show loops successfully vectorized, uh, loops not vectorized, and so on. And then you've got emit optimization diagnostics to file. We change that to yes. And I'm just going to leave all these others the same. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. We do build solution. Now this time we're not going to see the messages inside our output here. Instead, it goes to a file. So now let's take a quick look at one of these files. I'm going to pause this for just a minute while I open it up. Okay, here we have the report. Now this report got placed in the same directory as the executable for the release build. Now it's the release build and not the debug build because we, in order to get vectorization, we want to have optimization on. And to have optimization on, we do the release build. You can see here what we've got. Uh, there's several blocks in here, such as this one right here, where it says loop begin, loop end, and loop was vectorized. And that's one of the one of the new features with the, the new version, where instead of just saying loop was vectorized, it says loop begin, loop end. Now, if this were inside another loop, we'd see in the outer loop, loop begin, loop end. And the idea is if we've got inner loops and loops inside loops inside loops, uh, typically it's the innermost loop that's going to get vectorized and you would see loop begin at three levels there and so it gives you a hierarchy view uh, just like with your actual code. Now up here we see peeled and we see remainder 
what that is is when you when you compile these loops to assembly code, uh, if the alignment isn't right, uh, which I do not have the alignment right here, uh, what will happen is the first part of the loop will get peeled off and executed first without vectorization. And then once you start into the loop, you'll have vectorization. And then there might be a remainder part of the loop that doesn't fit into the vectorization size. And so that part gets split off separately as well. And so we have a peeled section, the main vectorization part, and the remainder. A remainder is pretty common. Um, a peeled may or may not happen, depending on how you've got things configured. And so that's basically a real brief introduction to the, the new reporting. There's much more here. Uh, than what I can show you in this short video, but I encourage you to check it out, to try it out, and watch for more videos in the months to come where we're going to be demonstrating a lot of new features with the 2015 edition of Parallel Studio.